so I just cooked some lunch here and I'm waiting for the uh, you know lunch to, to finish up you know boil the water with my jet boil very very good tool um, and then just poured it over a, a thing a yakisoba just a really simple meal just you know kind of out here trying to get something quick before I get back onto the road but I figured this would be a great time for me to show you my actual setup in here and again this is just a super simple setup that I just kind of threw together real quick back obviously so it's really messy right now but what I got here is I got a six inch foam mattress off of Amazon and uh, have you know just some blankets and a pillow up there and um, underneath the bed what I've got going on is I've just got this piece of plywood and to protect the seat I've got cardboard underneath of it and I've got a moving blanket on top of or trying to kind of wrap the plywood up a bit so that way it doesn't uh, again hurt the seat or hurt the mattress itself and so that's enough for my head there and then I've got all this storage space here you know got some uh, Dr. Bronner's um, some hiking boots yeah uh, a little bit of food back here um, you know stuff like that and uh, you know then I move over here and I'm using a backpack system this is just some reflectics that I still have to cut here um, one thing you know I'm I'm not completely done with this um, but it got to a point where I was in some analysis paralysis and I just had to do something so I went even though I'm not completely done so I've got some Reflectix I got to cut out here, but I've just got basically a bunch of backpacks. I got a carbon monoxide detector just sitting there, just you know, uh, help keep me safe a little bit. Um, but I basically just put a bunch of stuff, you know, clothes and things into backpacks, and that's how I'm doing this. Uh, not some super crazy like build out inside of here. I could just take all of this out, fold the seats up, and it's a regular car again. Um, basically what I would just want to tell you is that you don't need to do something that's extravagant or that is just over the top to get started and just get out there and have fun and adventure. You can just do something quick. Um, and I got over here, this is just stuff that I want to reach while I'm driving. You know, I got some jackets, uh, I got, um, some dishes I'm actually transporting down to North Carolina for somebody. Um, got chargers. I've got a Wi-Fi hotspot in here. Um, I've got a, a wrench thing, whatever socket to change my oil filter with. And um, yeah, basically, I'm just out here winging it. It's not super complicated. It's not super set up. It's probably not the best setup out there. But I mean, as you can see, I'm just going after it. And um, you know, it. it I've been through a lot of different vehicles trying to make this happen. You know, I got a Tacoma and I got a camper shell for it. I got a Volkswagen Westfalia um, and that, that was not sustainable long term. It was in 1974, needed, you know, maintenance, routine maintenance. And uh, there's just a lot of maintenance on those vehicles. Then I got a, um, a 1999 Dodge 1500 conversion van. And that, trust and believe, is an amazing vehicle. However, the thing is, I just don't need that much space, and the thing is terrible on gas. Um, so with this, I mean, I'll be getting uh, around 50 miles a gallon, even with all the stuff in here. You know, 48, 49, 51 miles a gallon. Um, yesterday, I did a 350-mile stretch where I got, I think it was 51.8 miles a gallon. So I can do um, a lot of adventuring in this. I can go travel a lot of places with this and not take the, the amount of gas that the van is gonna take. And I am 5'10", 5'11", and I fit fine in here. Uh, I don't have to curl up. Uh, you know, a lot of these uh, vans and stuff, you, you gotta curl up in the order you don't you don't get that full size length so in order to fit in the bed kind of got a little little hunch a little little curl in action and the legs going on this i can actually just completely lay flat 
and I'm fine. I've got enough room. Um, but anyways, just wanted to encourage you guys. This is by no means a really great setup, but it just got to the point that after buying so many vehicles for this purpose of traveling, I just came to the conclusion that I needed to go. I needed to do something. I needed to actually do what I was intending to do with these vehicles and travel. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be all like Instagram worthy and stuff like that. Well put together stuff that people are going to be jealous of because this is my life. This isn't something that I'm creating for other people to be jealous of. This is something that I'm living and that I'm living here and that I'm living now. And so I hope this can encourage you a little bit. Um, this is just in a field, you know, kind of uh, cooking some lunch after church. And uh, yeah, cool thing about uh, traveling is that if you don't like a church that you go to, because I'll go to church on Sundays uh, typically. And so if I don't uh, like that church, no worries. I'm just going to be in another part of the country uh, next Sunday anyway. So not, you know, uh, potentially. And so, you know, I'm not tied down to a single church. Even if I'm in like one home base location for a while, I don't have to go to the same church. Um, so, you know, a lot of times when, when you, you know, get a house, you know, you're stuck in one location, you have to, you know, go around to different churches and find out where you want to be for the next few years of your life. Um, with, with going out here, you just pull up Google, find a church, go to it. If it's, uh, you know, not good, if it's not teaching right doctrine or something, you just don't go to it next week. <laughs> you go to a different church. Um, but anyways, beautiful, beautiful area out here. Um, I'm going to sign off here and continue my trip down to North Carolina after lunch.